Hello again, everybody. It's been a couple months since I posted a video on my Starlink setup. So I thought I would uh, share my experiences over the last 60 days and uh, explain how my system's performing. Um, if you don't remember, my property is heavily treed um, and extremely tall tree. So I end up putting my dish on top of a garage. Um, and even so there, there's still some blockage in the lower horizon that I have to deal with on my, with my Starlink satellite. So I thought this would be a good chance to really share um, how things are going after a couple months um, um, with this thing up and running. So as you know, the Starlink app uh, on the phone has an analyst tab and you can actually track obstructions. Here is the previous 12 hours. Obviously not much at all, a couple minutes. Um, no satellite signal and obstructed. Honestly, I don't know how to tell. I guess it knows when there's no satellite because they, they know where their orbit is. But Here's the, here's the cool thing. I actually, it has a tab now that you can drill down and see the timestamps of the issues. Um, and it happens more often than you would think. I can tell you though, at this exact same time, we were streaming videos, um, working, doing Zoom calls, and I am not seeing any buffering. So even with these little bit of interruptions, the system tends to, I guess, the software may be buffering the YouTube videos or the Fire Stick that I have on my TV may be buffering enough that it's not showing me any buffering when I'm watching a show or possibly on a Zoom call. So had this since April, uh, four or five months in, extremely happy with it. I still give it a thumbs up and I recommend if you're in my situation where you have limited opportunity on the internet is grab it because I, I think you'll be happy with the product. Thanks for listening and we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks.